Hey, welcome back to the channel. Well, oh, keep my mic close. Hold on. There we go. Welcome back to the channel. It's Coach Evans with the Tyler Films, and we continue on our 10 most important slash influ influential Ravens for the 2021 season. Uh, we're here with number two. Uh, let's get it started. Number two on your list needs no intro. We're just going to Kodak Bop on in number two, and it's Lamar Jackson. Uh, stat wise, uh, he was the reigning MVP coming in from, from last year. Um, played in 15 games, set out the two games when we, you know, we went through that COVID issue. Well, set out the one game. We went through that COVID issue like midway through the season. Um, completions 242 of 376, which is 64%. Uh, 2,757 yards, 26 TDs, um, nine interceptions. Numbers were down from the MVP year, but that's expected because we didn't play as well. Um, let me see. What, what else? What else? Quarterback rating of 99.3 for the season. QBR of 73. All these numbers are down that I'm reading off from the year before. Uh, rushing. Where is Lamar's rushing? Is it on here? Let me see. Let me scroll up. Because his Russian play is an important, important role. Russian and receiving. Here it is. Um, 1,500 yards. 6.3 yards per carry. Now, that, the year before, the MVP year, he had 1,200 yards rushing. We kind of want Lamar to kind of hover around seven, 800 yards. I would love for his, his numbers to come off um, a lot less design runs and a lot more um, – we have the trust and that you can, you know, call a deep pass play. And if it's not working, you take off and run then. Um, but again, I don't really need to go into a bunch of numbers with Lamar. If Lamar goes down, we're, yeah, there's an issue. There's an issue. I think we can win a game or two without Lamar. But if he goes down, we go down. It's, it's just that simple. I don't care how lights out our defense plays how how well the skill guys do their thing if he goes down we go down for the most part um and his numbers they speak for themselves he can do it all he 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 doesn't statistically pass for what you know everybody want a top tier quarterback to do but he makes up for it with the playmaking ability the playmaking ability just case in point the play after he came from the bathroom versus the browns you know they call whatever pass play it is he rolls out to the right has an opportunity to possibly run for that first down. But because he's so well at throwing on the run, he throws a dot almost across his body to uh, Hollywood Brown and goes for a touchdown and we're going to win that game. It's not a lot of guys that can do that. I mean, there are a few that, that has the great arm talent, uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, maybe Josh Allen, maybe some other guys, uh, some other guys that are heady, uh, a.k.a. Tom Brady. Put Aaron Rodgers in that picture too as far as being heady. But Lamar has a combination of all that. Maybe not on their level, but his legs and his playmaking ability makes up for, you know, him being able to extend time in the pocket, letting plays develop. Uh, for him not having the greatest O-line where he can, you know, avoid stuff and still look downfield and get throws off. And it's just, it's nuts with what he can do with the football in his hand. And I'm glad that he touches the ball every play for us. And the fact that he touches every play for us could be a potential touchdown or amazing play on every play. And that's why he's number two on this list. I know a lot of y'all thought he was going to be number one. Sorry, he's not number one on this list. But uh, Lamar Jackson is all that in a bag of chips in, in old school terms. But um, I'm going to keep it quick because it's not a lot to say about Lamar. He's the shit, so to speak. Uh, number two on this list, Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Thank you. 